Harry, uh, obviously a 2-1 defeat this afternoon against Sutton, but more sort of importantly to touch on, uh, Jake Askew looked like he picked up a pretty nasty injury in the warmer. So Gary Anderson will be able to give you an update. Yeah, it doesn't look um, too good. Uh, he's been excellent in pre-season. He's worked very hard for his, his opportunity. Unfortunately for the young man, he's, uh, he's got his foot caught in the, in the ground and uh, he's, he's gone over it. It doesn't look too good at the moment, but until I get the full extent of it, I won't be able to, to comment. Uh, with, with Jake being out, it's a bit of a difficult situation having to, to borrow the goalkeeper, but we just sort of had to deal with it in the end. Again, you, you always have to be adaptive in this game, uh, and, and I felt we did. I thought we looked solid. <laughs> Some of the decisions were questionable. I mean, obviously the first goal was um, a bit of a shame, because I thought if we would have gone in their second half uh, with the 1-0 lead, it would have... Uh, confidence but the boys had confidence we played some exceptional stuff in that second half uh, but again we just in certain areas we um, overplayed and caused our own problems I think that's the worst thing is is when I told them that we caused more our own problems than what they caused us the first goal in particular that, that we scored what a fantastic team move that that was that must be really pleasing of course and I've said to the players, very rare you score goals of that calibre. You know, where do most goals come from? Mistakes. Mistakes. What we did today, we've done two little mistakes and they and they, they capitalised. Don't get me wrong, they're a fantastic team. They were they won the league last year, it was a great test for us. Their season's starting, so they're a couple of weeks ahead of us. I felt we dealt with the set pieces well, um, dealt with their delivery well. Yeah, they had one or two chances, but I reflect on the opportunities and the movement that we did is that we're, we're in a good place but we, we still need you know probably about three or four more players those mistakes that, that you mentioned is that something you sort of hope that we can grind out over the next few weeks in pre-season well, you have to um, people we're, we're human beings we will make mistakes but we can't make silly mistakes and I think uh, a few of their chances that came from silly mistakes that could have been avoided and that's what we need to do you mentioned there that we need a couple, few more bodies in the door, something that's work, being worked on behind the scenes as you with you and Dean? Yeah, of course, we're working hard to get players in. We need, um, obviously, we need the, the keeper. Hopefully, that gets sorted in the next 48 hours. Uh, but, yeah, we need a little bit more up top, I feel. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're looking. Just lastly, you want to touch on, on Adam Marriott. He's looking sharp. We'll see two goals in, in two weeks now. He'll be a big player for us this year. Well, well, a fantastic player. He's working hard and his attitude's perfect. So he's having a great season, but all of them are. It's a different setup to what it was last year. The players are going through a rigorous regime. They're working hard. I mean, they've just come off a two week, solid, solid two weeks, which they're, they're on their legs now. And that was their first, you know, some of them, that was their first 90 minutes for a while. So again, I was, I was happy.